He's what? Thank you for being here. such a hot day, to be exact. It's like 100 plus degrees today. What'd you just do? Meet our teachers. You just met your teachers. Landon and Addie start school tomorrow. Tomorrow is their first day of school. And so today, they got to see their new school, they got to see their playground, they are doing school in person. My other kids, like I've said in the past videos, are on the wait list to get into school, but they have not got accepted in yet. Um, but these two are, and they start school tomorrow. What do you think about your teachers? Yeah. Super sweet. They all seem super, super, super sweet. But now that we're done with that, we it is the beginning of life this month. I feel like this is the restart button. This month is the restart button for the past like year and a half because things are actually happening. They have school in person. They haven't been in school in person, like true in school, um, for over a year and a half. They had a little bit of hybrid classes at the end of last year, but they are fully in person this year, all of them. The rest of the kids start school on Monday. But what also is starting up is dance season. Soccer season starts this week. Gymnastics, Addie got into a gymnastics class. She's been, actually been on the wait list. Are you nice and cooled down? I'm so hot. <laughs> it's like 100 degrees today, we're dying. You're so cute. Addie's been on the wait list for a gymnastics class that she just got accepted into, so she starts gymnastics. that. I know, you're still on the wait list, buddy. They're in different classes, and apparently there's like months long of a wait list, so. She just got in, but Landon has his rock band class and your drum lessons. <laughs> Life is about to go from zero to 100 in like 0.6 seconds. One of those really good cars, and they jump from like zero to 100 in a matter of three seconds. Oh, it was the ride. It was a roller coaster. Oh, yeah. Roller coaster's about to take off. Ooh, look at this. I have my camera in the sun for a few minutes and it's like burning up. Feel my thumb. Okay, I need you guys to sit back and buckle, please. Mm. Come on. We gotta go. We have so much to do. We need to go pick up their cost, their costumes, their uniforms for soccer. Step one. Oh, yeah. Chris took the kids this morning. Did you vlog? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh... What's up, fam? I got all the boys here and I need to take them in to get all of their soccer cleats and shin guards and socks and all that good stuff, soccer balls. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping, get some stuff ready to go for next week. Actually, not next week, this, today. Don't you guys have practice today? Yep. They have practice today, actually. The day after we got back and there's just practice, there's things to be done, There's we're really busy. So. We have, we have, games, after, we have games after um one practice. Yeah, so let's go. It looks like we have made our decision. Which one did you get? Little Kate has a red and black. Green. That one's cool. That one's cool. Kaden is digging all the way down to the very bottom. Is that the one you want? Yes. You are working hard for this ball. All right. All right. All right. Let's move on. To, okay, hold them, hold them. Don't kick them inside the store. Let's move on to. Let's get some practice socks, and then we'll get shoes. Alright guys, did we succeed in getting all of our yep. soccer okay. stuff? Yep. Can I just stop by the house and get my sunglasses? <laughs> you can wear mine here. No, they make my butt look good. <laughs> <laughs> if you buckle, I'll give you the ice. Better two ice, don't want two ice. Just better. I broke three of my teeth and the dentist said it's because I have two ice. Or it's so bad. So if you guys are ice chewers out there, don't do it. Don't you ice. So bad for you. We're gonna get things rolling because we've got 114,000 activities to do. The little dots on the calendar represent an activity happening on that day. So you guys can Not see just one activity. multiple activities on each of those days. So today we had two meet and greets for the kids for their school. Caden has hip hop, Kyson has soccer practice, Landon has Rock 101 class, Caden also has ballet and contemporary, Lilia has voice lessons, and Landon has drum lessons. So. Just an average day. It's just an average day for us. Hi, so order number 9746. 
now that we met with both of the kids teachers we got specific information on what exactly we need for their back to school lists i feel like they're more extensive than regular schools just because it's i don't know it's not like typical public school it's not private school either i don't know they're more specific about what they want whereas i feel like the other schools they usually just provide it so they have a long lengthy list of supplies that we need to get the kids i went to target yesterday and they didn't really have very many options there they were extremely picked over and didn't even offer some of the things that i needed like we need a primary primary composition book where it has like space for the picture up top i didn't see that at all at target oh here's more composition that's college rules we need wide ruled oh here's primary perfect so staple saves the day Two single subject spiral notebooks, four black and white composition books, 12 number two pencils, one pack of pink erasers, one black sharpie, glue stick, one plain brown clipboard, and three reams of plain copy paper. My phone keeps dying. I feel like every time there's about to be a new release of an iPhone, is this just me? All of a sudden my battery stops working. It's been so bad. Are you guys going to get the new iPhone? That is the question. I know they come out with one every year. I think I probably will just because this one is on its last leg. I'm gonna have to get more case to buy cases though because these things are my absolute favorite. And people ask me all the time what my code is for case to buy. It's not really a code as much as it is a link. So if you guys want 15% off of a case to buy case, you go to case to slash jazz fam. I'll put a link down in the description. I'm charging my phone in between activities. Oh, where's, where's my long cord? This is my short cord. We have like a long cable and a short cable. So I'm gonna give myself five minutes of charging time before we need to leave again. I'm trying to decide if I wanna keep the same case that I have now or change it out. I just, this is my one of my favorite ones that I've ever had. I just love the color yellow and I love the color green. All I know is that I will not pick any other phone case. It has to be Case Defy. Case Defy's cases are extremely thin. They are sponsoring this video, but that doesn't mean anything. I swear by them. I tell all of my friends about them. I bought all of my family Case Defy cases. They're not only protective, but they're also extremely slim. Their impact cases, which is this one that I have right here, are engineered with a two layer construction of Chi Tech and drop tested for up to 6.6 .6 feet. They also have the ultra impact ones, which I actually have one. Let me show you what it looks like. This is another one that I bought that I'm waiting to use. I guess I should use it before I change out my phone. But the Ultra Impact cases are drop tested for up to 9.8 feet. That is insane. Like you could literally go on a ride at Disneyland and probably drop it and it'd probably be fine. They come in a million different designs. Like my mom has the mountain one. I have this tropical looking one. I also have this one that I haven't used yet, but I really want to. I ordered the Twins case to buy cases. I am about to order Lilia a new case to buy case because she's getting an upgrade on her phone. They come in a million different designs. They even come in customizable cases also that way you can monogram your name or a short phrase on your phone case case device antimicrobial coating keeps your case germ free killing 99% of bacteria plus both their impact and their ultra impact cases are made of 50% recycled material I'll even show you people usually freak out when I do this they're like but this is military grade drop protection you can throw my phone or drop it most of the time I'm dropping it not throwing it for the sake of this video and it's fine, I promise you. Wanna see? Don't believe me? Proof, it is perfectly okay. These things are virtually indestructible. If only I could say the same thing about the battery, because the battery on this thing is just on its last leg. They always do this. But again, if you guys want 50% off, you go to casetify.com slash jessfam. I get messages all the time asking what my code is. If you just click the link down below, it should work. But if you're an iPhone user, are you gonna upgrade your phone? Shh, what are we thinking? I know they haven't talked about an actual release date yet, but they always come out with something like new and spectacular on the next phone. So my five minutes is almost up though. We have so much going on today, like I've already said. So I'm gonna charge for a few more minutes and I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> I feel like we're finally back to our like full busy schedule. Anyone who's followed us for like a while, you know, our, we are a busy family. I like to make sure my kids are doing what they want to do. So they, they can do whatever they want, whether that means dance, soccer, gymnastics. Like we've got Landon and drum lessons. I think it's so important for kids to like keep busy, but still have time to like be kids also. So we try to keep a good healthy balance of them being in extracurricular activities, but also still being able to like go to the park and hang out with their friends, you know? And Addie's at the age now too, where she can pick stuff. So she's signed up for gymnastics and dance right now. I asked her if she wanted to do soccer and she said no, but now she, she sees a bunch of little girls over there and she's like kind of changing her mind. But for the last like year and a half, obviously they haven't been able to do all the things that they normally do. Yeah. Mommy, mm -hmm. can I say hi to him? 
I mean, you can, but he's out there exercising. He's warm enough. You could try. I don't know if he'll hear you. It's kind of far. So for the last year and a half, we have not been nearly as busy as we normally are because normally our family is like boom, boom, boom. They did like Boy Scouts, they did Girl Scouts. They've done all kinds of different things. And I like to have each of my kids sign up for at least one thing at all times. I just think it's so good for them as opposed to just like being home, playing video games. Watching TV. Watching TV. Snacking all day. Snacking, like, you know, just being out and being active doing something that they're interested in so I definitely a lot of people are like you're busy you keep your kids busy and it's really we're busy because we have a lot of kids and each of them do one to two activities so it seems like it's a lot but really each of them just have a couple things that they do so at the moment we have three different things going on right now Caden is dropped off at dance my mom took Landon to his rock band class and he's getting dropped off and then we're staying for Landon for who's this oh my gosh Kyson. I'm getting my kids confused and we're staying here for Kyson's first practice because I want to talk to the coach because actually originally Caden was going to do soccer also but his classes are at the same exact time so so I'm going to talk to the coach and see if he's allowed to just go to the games because the time they have two practices a week and both of those are during his other classes so ultimately if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but he is signed up for soccer and he's supposed to be here we might see if we can try to change around his schedule but the thing is is that soccer is only like a few weeks long so there are two different places but meanwhile Kyson is so this is Kyson's thing I think he's so good at soccer he's really competitive and yeah he's competitive of, of all the sports that Kyson has played I think he is the best at soccer for sure and he is very physically talented kid but he's just like especially good at this update we are still at Kyson's soccer practice. Chris actually had to leave here to go pick up Caden from his class. But originally, I think I was just talking about how Caden isn't able to make any of the practices, but I actually just talked to his other teacher and we're making it work. That way he's able to make both his dance class and his soccer practice. So it all worked out because he really, really wants to do both. He said if he had to pick, he would do dance at this point. But I also don't want him to feel like He's missing out on other things that he wants to do because who knows what he's gonna stick with long term. I took Addy over to the park to play on the actual structure, but we're walking back over to pick up Kyson and I think he's calling me. Hi, buddy. Finished. You're done? Okay, I'm walking over, we're almost there. I need water, I ran out of water like 10 minutes ago. Both of your water bottles? Oh my goodness, we need to get bigger water bottles for you, huh? One person had three water bottles. I don't blame him. Okay, well, I'm almost there. <laughs> I see you. Okay, love you. <laughs> love you, bye. <laughs> Good? He's what? Oh, <laughs> he is good. His And I just talked to his brother's teacher also, and he's going to be able to make it on Thursdays. So I'll bring him also, his twin. They're fraternal twins. They don't look alike, but they're both, they love the sport. Oh, it's a good I love that. Thank you so much. It makes my heart so happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll see you Thursday. I need some water. Okay, let's go get you some. Did you hear what he said? He said thank you so much for bringing him. He's really good. <laughs> okay, we can go. You want to walk over to the um, water fountain? How far is it? I don't know. This is, I think this is your thing, dude. You're really good at it. Chris just picked up Kaden from dance. He's doing a duet this year. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> And what is that? Wait, you gonna do a Pokemon dance? Is it your most favorite thing in the entire world? A duet and it's Pokemon? I had I... no idea that Pokemon knew how to dance. <laughs> a lot of Pokemon know how to dance. I could play the song and then... Oh yeah? And then Joey? Is it? It's what? Hip hop? Yeah. Okay. It would be jazz. <laughs> Contemporary. That would be sad. It'd be a sad Pokemon. <laughs> Kate and I really did a dance one time and it was it was about a wedding and each of us had a different personality and mine was sad and I had to cry the whole time. <laughs> I was the sad bridesmaid. Did you like have to cry? To like yeah I had to pretend cry. I'll have to see if I could find it but each of us had a different personality. There was the jealous one and there was like a mad one and there was a happy one. I think it would be the happy one. Me? Yeah, I would be the happy one, but I was the I'm sad one. And so the whole time I was like, <laughs> like crying the whole time. It was so funny. I'll have to show it to you. Okay, babe. Okay, babe. Chris just spent the last like Check. hour cleaning out. Check the center console. Oh my god. Oh, game changer. I love it. <laughs> You're amazing. Did I ever tell you how sexy you are when you clean? Mm, so sexy. <laughs> Speaking of clean, I think it's time. <laughs> Awkward.
awkward silence. I have no idea what the heck you're doing. <laughs> this, our oh. preschool graduate, okay, congrats Addy, preschool graduate, is about to freaking start basically kindergarten tomorrow. Yeah. TK, we it's we can't be dropping her off when the, this has been, <laughs> it just, it needs to, it just, it needs to happen, okay? What? It lasted all summer, she's had what her glory. suggestions were we given to remove it? A million, okay, so the top ones I think like, were like alcohol. The sun. It just comes off when you rub it. That looks like it's stained. It's not stained. I think it was like alcohol swabs, like or like a little bit of dish soap. I've just been so scared to take it off because I don't want to mess up the, the thing, but this chalkboard marker is the way to go if you want to put a message on a car and you want it to stay there for three months, even going through the car wash multiple times. Oh yeah, I, I think I confused alcohol for acetone. Is that the same? No. Okay, <laughs> acetone is what the... <laughs> <laughs> Acetone is what people were saying to use. We only have a tiny bit left, so we're gonna have to make do with what we have. <laughs> You're telling me it was this easy the whole time? <laughs> We've been driving around for like seven months with this. Look at this. Just like, like no, like 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not that we didn't know how to do it. It's just... <laughs> No, I have, people have been telling me for months how to do it. They've been saying acetone since day one. I just, we've been too busy to take 14 seconds to wipe this off. Oh. <laughs> All right, it looks like you have done quite the job, sir. Ma'am to you. <laughs> and voila, we have a clean windshield. There you have it, good as new. No more preschool graduate, so until next year, or until we find another event worthy of writing on our windows. Next year it'll be stuck on there for another eight months. <laughs> We just finished up dinner, I cleaned up the kitchen, Chris is upstairs giving the kids a bath, and my mom took Landon and Lilia to their drum slash singing lessons tonight. I'll tell you what, that woman is amazing. I'm so grateful for her every day. Hello. Are you talking to me? Oh. <laughs> the number one thing that sucks tonight though is that it's Landon's late day. The only day that he has an activity and he stays out late, his drum lessons aren't done until 8.30 tonight. For us, that's like bedtime and it was fine when the kids were distance learning, it was fine during the summer, but when they have to wake up and be at school first thing in the morning, time is not ideal. I wanted to try to change the time, but it's the limited availability like per class basically, so yes. I pulled outside. Is that what took so long? Oh no. Oh, right now. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm glad you found it. Okay, we're gonna hop in the bath so quick, dude, because it is already way past your bedtime and you start school tomorrow. How was class for you, Lilia? I feel like I haven't seen you today. Today's your not busy day. And you're not in school yet either. And it's everybody else's busy day. <laughs> yeah, you're the only one that doesn't have a lot going on. She only has her singing lessons today. Are you gonna take a bath in there? Okay, I took all of my makeup off and then realized that I didn't end the vlog, so you're welcome for this beautiful face. Tomorrow is the beginning of new beginnings. I'm so excited, but it's gonna be a long day. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We just have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow in our next video. Bye, guys.